This module will focus on planning. First, make a quick survey of current service. Using your smartphone, measure current bars of signal in various locations throughout the building using a cell phone that belongs to the operator you want to boost, and write those down on a basic floor plan. If calls drop, or you know where calls often drop or have problems, note those locations as well. Next, let's decide where the network unit and antenna should go. If mounting the antenna indoors, plan to mount the antenna and network unit next to each other, where the existing signal is best. This usually means mounting the antenna at the top of a window with the network unit mounted within reach of the antenna cables, either next to the antenna or above the ceiling tiles. You will also need to identify a power outlet near the network unit within reach of its power supply cable or have an outlet installed. If you have the option of running cables, then this may open up more network unit placement options. Contact your supplier for longer antenna cables. Always try and mount the network unit antenna where it will be pointed away from and well isolated from the coverage units to limit feedback potential. If on the same floor without any internal walls, the coverage units should be at least 50 meters from the network unit antenna. Coverage units may be closer to the network unit if more structures like walls are between them. More is better. Next, decide where coverage units should go and how many will be needed to blanket the area or just fill in service where needed. Coverage per unit is larger for open areas and smaller for areas with more signal reducing structures like walls. Try and pick open areas well off the ground. The coverage table in the user manual will help you estimate coverage area per unit, and you may have a mix of different area types. Don't worry if your solution isn't perfect. The table is a little conservative, and you can always leave some extra cable length at each coverage unit in case you want to move them later. You could simply plan to run new dedicated LAN cables between the network unit and each of the coverage units, and you're done with your plan. Cables must be a CAT 5E or better and Gigabit 1000 Base T compliant. Or you might want to save some cable costs by reusing existing LAN cables if they can be dedicated or not passed through active Ethernet devices such as routers and switches. Passive patch panels are okay. If any cable is longer than 100 meters, one Quattro range extender may be used to expand a coverage unit cable to 200 meters. It is designed to work with Quattro signaling. Off-the-shelf extenders will not work. Also, plan to connect the LAN management port on the back of the network unit to your local internet. This connects the system to the WAVE portal in the cloud and is required for real-time monitoring and alarm notifications. Your plan is now complete. You have surveyed the building, decided where to place the network unit and its antenna, decided where to place coverage units, and decided the best dedicated cable routing option between the network and the coverage units. Your plan also considered whether new cables or repurposed LAN cables will be used to connect coverage units, and whether any Quattro range extenders would be needed if any coverage unit cable needs to be extended up to 200 meters.